Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take some latest news coming in from the camp of Black Stars players. Kudus Mohammed today at West Ham. The player has answered some 14 questions. Interesting one. We will check out that video in this one. Thomas Tepate, there is a piece of good news coming in from his camp as his date for him to come back to the pitch is even going to be earlier than what was expected. We'll talk about him in this video. Then coach Chris Sitting, he has also spoken. What did he say? We will check it out in this one as well and some other latest things you need to know on this channel so this video is going to be really interesting don't forget to stick and stay till the end before then any time join us please like the video for me drop us a like after that if you are new subscribe to this channel put us on post notifications so that anytime you drop a latest update you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box so that i'll give you shout outs in my subsequent videos i'm going to give a shout out to all those who commented under the last video so just stick and stay for that as well now let's begin from kudus mohammed kudus since he joined west ham united he has been fantastic in the few games he has played he came on uh you know to play two games before getting a start against Bakcha Topola in the UEFA Europa League game where he scored two goals and um, I've already brought you a lot of updates on this channel. The last game he played against Liverpool at Anfield when he came on on the 75th minute to take out Mikel Antonio and he did quite well that um, he can also do to help the West Ham team. Today he was asked some few questions on you know what he likes, the food he likes and uh, now some other stuff. He, he was saying that he liked Jollof and some things. So yes, um, let's just watch this video. After that, we will talk about Patty and more. Describe your time at West Ham so far in one word. Positive. Favourite artist? Stoneboy. Favourite footballing moment in your career so far? Playing at the World Cup. Favourite food? Jollof. Describe your style in one word. Simple. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Invisible. Favourite film? Wakanda. Favourite sport other than football? Um, basketball. Who do you text the most? My mum. A travel destination on your bucket list? Tanzania. How was playing under the lights at London Stadium for the first time? Oh, lovely. What emoji do you use the most? The laughing one. What are your nicknames? Cuckoo. If you could listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh. Stoneboy, life is a journey. Alright, so that is it coming in from Kudus Mohammed. Yes, Kudus saying that for him he likes Stoneboy and also, you know, the food he likes best is Jollof and talking about, um, you know, the best moments of his career playing at the World Cup and some other stuff, which is a good one from Mohammed Kudus. We hope that going forward he will get more opportunities to play at West Ham. But right now, the West Ham team, uh, the, the positions that Kudus will play, there, there, there's much competition in there because Jared Bowen, he has been fantastic for them this season at a right wing position scoring some good goals and that number 10 role you know uh the west Ham, one of their key players is playing there that is lucas paqueta fantastic player by us yesterday i know you watched him against liverpool and also looking at uh maybe the left wing that's where said benrama is also doing well and the number nine role you all know michael antonio has been playing there so it seems maybe the coach um well it's going to be difficult but you know we hope that kudos he is a player who should be getting starts in West Ham, you know, because of what he adds to the team. He will add goals, he will add assists, he will give you flair, he will dribble. And we just wish him well that at West Ham, he should get a place in the team and play continuously in the EPL. So, that's it on Kudos. Now, for Thomas Tepate, yes, today, there's an update that the player could return even earlier than before. Because I told you the player will come back in October. And today, according to the Arsenal news that uh, we got... The player is expected to come back and face Manchester City because, uh, you know, um, per what they are saying, they say the player is recovering very, very fast. So, Declan Rice, Gabriel Martinelli, Leandro Trossard and Partey are all expected to be fit to face Manchester City in 13 days. Um, Declan Rice injury isn't serious as per um, reported and Partey is also ahead of the schedule. That is per the latest update according to Arsenal News today that I'm also bringing to you. So so um, Arsenal, they will face Manchester City. That's going to be on the 8th of, um, that is next month, October 2023. So if that game party will be ready, 
That means that Pate will also be ready for Ghana in those two friendly games in October. That is going to be against USA and Mexico in US. So um, this is a good news for Ghanaians because Pate is going to be back in the team. And, you know, because ahead of the AFCON, we need those midfielders to be playing together. Pate, Salis, Abdul Samed, then Elisha Usu and the other midfielders that we have, Baba Idrisu and the likes. They should be playing more games so that we can have that kind of cohesion in the team. So, yes, per the report, Pate is expected to be back and face Manchester City on the 8th of October 2023. So, this is a good news for us now fans as well as Ghanaians in here. Now, Coach Chris Hitton, he has also spoken on the Ghanaian players who plays here, he says that the Ghana Premier League, one challenge is the player exodus. It is everywhere though. The Ghana Premier League, the player exodus is so, 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 so much. And according to Coach Chris Hitton, speaking on Aquaba Radio, this is what he said on the Ghana Premier League and other stuff. There is a question for every head coach in the last couple of years. Um, there will always be, of course, players to live here and go to play in Europe and this is something that has happened for quite some time when he was asked about player exodus. He added that if you generally gauge the national team, the Black Star squad has most of the players playing abroad. This is always the challenge. This is a challenge for the local league. The Premier League um, to be at the level a, a competitive one that whoever in Black Star's coach, um, whoever the Black Star's coach is can look at it and pick from it so according to him yes you know players a lot of players who are in the black stars team are all playing outside and it is a challenge the player is us is a challenge when he was asked about it that if you're a coach it's going to be difficult for you to be picking players here because you pick them today the next day they are gone and because hafiz wunta konkoni last time he was invited to join the black stars team next day he is now in tanzania and other players just mentioned them so yes that is it from coach chris Hitting. this weekend he watched about three ghana premier League games together with one division one game and he's doing work on that particular front so let me give a shout out to these amazing guys before i take leave of you shout outs going out to emmanuel boatin i've seen you are doing great on this channel and estimate if you also commenting always desmond ajobu you also here appreciate you so much thomas safari is also here redemption wilson um smith you are also on this channel nathan adi is also here adam osei you are also here as well Baba jackie with the thumbs up thank you Email TV, you are also back. Thank you for being here. Kodjo Deus is also here. Jacob Star, you are also here. Luke Mensah TV, GH, thank you for being here. Barak 6365, I've also seen you are doing great. Or say to Tuteria, you are also on this channel. Um, Foster Vordy is also here. Thank you, I appreciate you. First Recap, you are also here. Fenton Daniel, thank you for being here. Hafiz Alassan is also here. Bright Streaky, I've also seen your comments. You are doing great. Um, Esquise to Usa Alexander, thank you for being here. Um, Akwesie Champon, both you are also here. Imano Amane is also here. Fast Sports Arena, you are doing great. Imano Amane is also here. Then Emmanuel, uh, yes, Emmanuel Siedu, you are also on this channel. Joseph Kofi, you are also here. Newton, um, you are also on this channel. Newton Magnaniba, thank you for being here. Apeku Abednego is also here. Sam Tuga. Sam Tuga, he said the name is Tuga. Thank you, I've seen you. Then I have JM Enoch and Azuma Obed as the last comments on this channel. So guys, let me know yours in the comment box. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV and of course, we shall meet later.